before Thanksgiving, I want you to understand one more concept, fully understand one more concept, and that is friction. We're going to go over friction on Tuesday, but I really want you to come to class with at least 20% of understanding of friction so that by the end of the class on Tuesday, you're going to have 100% understanding of friction. And it is important because the friction involves the Sir Isaac Newton's second law. Understanding friction will allow you to appreciate Sir Isaac Newton's second law. So this uh, tutorial will help you understand help you understand 100 percent, but uh, at least at least try to understand 20 percent or 10 percent or more than 0 percent. So let's uh, start our conversation with the definition of friction. What is friction? Friction is a contact force. For example, Albert Einstein now sitting on the table. So there is a contact. All right. If you remove him, then there is no contact. Now, if you put him back, then there is a contact. So friction is a contact force. There are two types of friction. One is static friction, or an object at rest. One is kinetic friction, or an object in motion. Static friction and kinetic friction, don't forget that. A static coefficient always bigger than kinetic coefficient. A static coefficient, for example, this, uh, this table is, let's say, 0.4. Then the kinetic coefficient is 0.3. Why is that? Because a static coefficient has to do when object at rest, and kinetic coefficient has to do when object already in motion. Okay, now let's see how many forces acting on this uh, Albert Einstein right now. Two forces, because this object at rest, two forces. Nobody pulling, nobody pushing, nothing is going on. Two forces the force of gravity and the normal force. They cancel each other. Now, what is the friction, the force of friction acting on this body right now, on Albert Einstein? Is zero. If I try to pull Albert Einstein right now, Albert Einstein stature is two kilogram by the way. Uh, if I try to pull Albert Einstein's stature by this strain, applying only one Newton, how many forces acting on Albert Einstein right now? Four. The force of gravity downward, 19.6. Uh, normal force upward, 19.6. Uh, the pulling force, 1 Newton, and the force of friction, 1 Newton. Force of friction is opposite to the pulling force. What would be the maximum force that the table can apply to keep Albert Einstein at rest? Well, 19, so you are going to do uh, 2 times 9.8 and that is 19.6 times 0.4 and that would be 7.84. So the table can do the maximum of 7.84 to keep Albert Einstein at rest. If you do 7.84, the Albert Einstein will start moving with constant velocity. If you do more than 7.8, let's say 10, if you apply 10 Newton, there would be a net force. There would be a net force on Albert Einstein. So this is what we're going to be talking about. So let's dive in. Okay. Unless uh, there are some applied force acting on it, we'll create a table over here. And let's say a few other things. Mu, mu s is 0.4 and mu k is 0.3. Okay. What else I can give you? I think that's it. Uh, all right. So we're going to finish this table. We're going to have FA, a different, um, of course, applied force. Let's start with 10 Newton, and then, of course, 20, and then 30, and then something else we'll see, and then 40, and then 50. Okay. What else are you going to find? FF, maybe. What else are you going to find? F normal. What else are you going to find? FF, F net. And finally, acceleration. Okay, this is our goal. So, first find the free body diagram. Free body diagram, you see that what are the two forces acting on it? Fg is equal to mg. So, m is 10 and g is 9.8, so 98 Newton. Normal force is equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, so is going to be 98 Newton. The next important thing is we have to find the maximum um, friction possible. So max, maximum friction possible is, let's use the different color, maximum friction possible is F uh, S max 
and that would be that would be mu s fn and mu s is 0.4 fn is 98 so 39.2 for 39.2 newton over here that's very important okay all right so what is the kinetic friction so let's use the blue to find the kinetic friction okay is equal to mu k fn 0.3 times 29.4 okay all right so let's let's get it started all right the first thing what are you going to find ff so when applied forces so let's put the thing over here all right so this is 10 and when applied force is uh, applied force is 10 10 newton when applied force is 10 newton think about that what is the force of friction well the force of friction minimum force i have to apply to move this box is 39.2 anything less than 39.2 the box won't move so is 10 more than 39.2 well no so force of friction would be 10 and the normal force we already know the normal force normal force is 98 normal force in fact 98 for all the problem all the all the blank 98 okay good so force of friction is um, immediately immediately if you apply 10 newton the force of friction okay so what are you going to do so calculator over here and you apply 10 newton over here the moment you apply 10 newton uh, the ground will apply same 10 newton all right equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to keep the calculator at rest okay but the ground can only do so much in this case ground can do only 39.2 if you apply more than 39.2 and pull it and then the ground will give up so that is when the ground give up so make sure you understand that part okay so the friction is 10 so when you use 20 in, instead of 10 you use, use 20 newton applied force 20 is uh, less than 39.2 so then 20 when you apply 30 30 is still less than uh, 39.2 so 30 39.2 is not less than 39.2 39.2 is equal to 39.2 so there would be no acceleration there would not be any acceleration acceleration would be zero is because the object would move with constant velocity object would move with constant velocity so the velocity would be velocity would be constant constant all right in this case velocity would be zero velocity would be zero velocity would be zero this case object will move but with constant velocity hopefully you understand it okay now net force net force uh, what is the net force over here of course net force is zero because object is not moving net force is zero net force is net force is zero okay good constant velocity means net force is zero of course acceleration is zero acceleration is zero acceleration is zero of course 39 mm, force of friction is still 39.2 okay now if you apply force that is more than 39.2 and that is how much 40 is 40 bigger than 39.2 of course if 40 bigger than 39.2 then what happened um, then kinetic friction takes over and kinetic friction is how much 29.4 so you're gonna write 29.4 okay now we apply 50 is 50 greater than 39.2 yes 50 is greater than 39.2 so the kinetic friction takes over so then we're gonna write 29.4 so now we're gonna have to write the net force um, so net force how can we write the net force net force is um force applied minus this one so 40 minus 29.4 and that would be 10.6 and this one 50 minus 29.4 is 20.6 all right so the acceleration is 1.06 so 10.6 10.6 divided by 10 is 1.06 this one is 2.06 uh, this one is constant velocity no not constant velocity this one is uh, the velocity increases velocity increases over time this one is velocity increases over time is because there is 
and acceleration. Now, what are you going to do? You are to draw a friction graph. The friction graph, that's what you're going to do now. All right, so this is our applied force and this is our force of friction. Y is force of friction, uh, X is applied force. Okay, now let's see. We're going to go by 10, 10, 20, 30, and so on. So 10, 20, 30, 39.2, 40, uh, uh, and, then, and then 50. Right? If applied force is 0, then force of friction is 0. If applied force is 10, then force of friction is 10. If applied force is 20, force of friction is 20. If applied force is 30, force of friction is 30. If applied force is 39.2, force of friction is 39.2, 29.4. So what is 29.4? So this is 29.4. All right. Okay. So at 40, at 40, this is 29.4. At 50, this is also 29.4. At probably 60, we'll see that this is also 29.4. So what is it? Kinetic friction is constant. What is it? Static friction is less than or equal to 39.2. Why is that? Because mu s fn is between uh, 0 to 39.2 anything between 0 to 39.2 and this is the peak 39.2 Newton. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.